Next into the tank is a high-tech version of a travel necessity. Hola, Sharks. I'm Gaston Blanchet from Argentina, and this is my best friend, Jesse Potash from New York. Our company is Trunkster, and we're seeking $1.4 million in exchange for 5%. Wow. <laughs> Sharks, wow. meet Trunkster, the world's first and only <laughs> roll-top suitcase. Trunkster's minimalist roll-top door provides instant access to your belongings. Whether in the back of a taxi or at the check-in counter, you're just a quick slide away from your passport book or sweater. And that's just the beginning. Trunkster is loaded with smart features. We've engineered the world's first self-contained handle scale, so you can pack just under the weight limit and avoid costly fees. Sharks, is there anything worse than running out of power on the go? With Trunkster, you've got juice all to yourself via the built-in USB ports powered by a removable battery. And forget about lost luggage nightmares, because Trunkster offers global location tracking with proximity sensors. Trunkster gives you all of this, plus it's made from the highest quality materials using a patent-pending assembly process for lightweight and rigid durability. Not to mention how sexy it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest luggage innovation since wheels righted 50 years ago, and we need your help to establish ourselves as the game-changing luggage brand worldwide. So, who's in? You gonna show us the product? All right, let me see Just it. to preface the inside. How do you the, open it? Oh, you can yep, just press this button very quickly and, and you slide open it. down. You can open it standing oh. up or laying down. That's the beauty of it. How much that weighs? I just want to pull it. Yeah, absolutely. And just so you know, they'll weigh less than eight pounds when they're finished. Wheels are great. Right. Thanks. So how'd you come up with this idea? I was in a luggage store and I realized like, wow, every luggage brand is the same. As a millennial, like, I like to buy a brand that has a story behind it that comes from grassroots travelers. There's no brand like this in the luggage so market. So corporate. You're such millennials. Yeah. yeah. You are. You're oh, like, oh, oh my God, it's so corporate. No, but really, but well, no. it's boring. It's about to get corporate. Yeah. 1.4 million for 5%. Which one of you do I absolutely tear to pieces now on a $28 million valuation? All right, I'll take the pain first. Here you go. <laughs> are you, so are you not mind? selling this yet? We are pre-selling this because we are still in the manufacturing You're process. You're pre-selling and you have a $28 million valuation. Yes, Do you sir. see any problem with that? No, because I'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. Eight months ago, we became the most crowdfunded travel campaign in history on Kickstarter. We raised $1.4 million. We hit our goal in one hour. To date, we've pre-sold $2 million of uh, this bag, which sells itself. We didn't even ask how much one of these costs. Yeah, so we retail them for $3.95, and wow. the cost is about 20% of that, exactly. So it's prototype, but all of these people have bought in haven't tried it. These are the first samples off the line. We're pretty close to shipping um, next month. We have 5,000 units that are being are about Take to be on the assembly ages. line that will yep. be shipped out next month. Yep. So we, we have a guy traveled. there checking on the, qual the quality. We, we live, live in, China. in China. Yeah, we live We're in China. We, we live, yeah, we live, we live in, in the factory yeah. in China. Why is it worth $28 million? That well, was my first question exactly. you never answered. We're estimating $3 million in sales this year. So far, we've done $2 million. Next year, we're estimating about $9 million in sales. We're going to make this, first of all, into a billion-dollar company. And we're doing, we're going to disrupt the luggage industry the same way the mattress industry has recently been disrupted. And that's oh. by offering a premium product at a significant discount to consumers. Luggage of this so you're quality. So you everything online. Direct to consumers. All online. All right, Lori, so this thing, luggage queen, is this revolutionary? It's very different. The, it's very clever. Is it worth $28 million? Nothing's worth That's 28 million. That's a whole nother story. You guys know it's a huge ask. It's a you huge ask. That. Well, and, HSN, and you HSN, HSN reached out to us and yet. said... But you're pricing that as though it's already right. happened. Ask me if it's worth 28 million and I'll tell you. No. I gotta tell you, I think the business is probably worth five to eight million dollars today. Most. Would but you if we're make making an three million in our first year? That's one shot. Look, let's you get put that money in your pocket. That's money you made. You put that money in your pocket, but that's anecdotal, right? It's one off. You don't have any track record there. Would you sell 30% of the company to Robert for 1.4 million, which reflects his more conservative $5 million valuation? Would you? Absolutely not. The interest we've seen from all the other luggage companies who are, who are running scared and interested in what we're doing is we can grow this guys, to guys. 10 million, 20 million. It's exciting. It's exciting. We have new have products add. in the line. Do we want to make this a camera bag, a photography bag. On a 20 we have other products that we're going to debut and upstall on our Gaston, website. Gaston, stop talking! Silence. No more excitement. <laughs> we're trying to find <laughs> North Carolina. Are you going to walk out of the dance. Shark Tank with a deal or not? We're going we're to find it right now. Nobody's going to hit your bid at 28 million. Of course Nobody. Silence. Are you prepared to have flexibility on your $28 million ask.
all sharks are still in. But they question the high valuation of Gaston and Jesse's smart luggage company, Trunkster. Are you prepared to have flexibility on your $28 million ask? This reminds me, if, you, if I just may share a story, that in, in January we were choosing our factory partner and we weren't quite able to get there on the price. My uncle, who's a businessman, he told me to say this. Listen, he's from Long Island. Listen, <laughs> somebody's going to manufacture trunks it. Either it's going to be you or it isn't. Whoever it is, that person's going to make a lot of money. And I can tell you that was true then and it's true now. <laughs> so what Our factory partner is making a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so you're saying, you don't need us to a question. No, no, no. And, you and, we, and, then, no, and so I will say to that, we're reasonable, we're willing to negotiate, we understand this is a business, and we want the right partner. How much of your own cash did you guys put in? We spent $5,000 to launch the Kickstarter campaign, and yeah, that's we all the money we invested. In. You haven't shipped anything yet. Your $5,000 is now worth $28 million. I'm so lucky to be here. That's yeah. What an opportunity. That's a great return. Well, also, no, we should say something about the product, that our product has three things that very few products have in combination. You don't need to sell anymore. <laughs> Listen, everybody agrees it's interesting, and even Lori, queen no, of I'm luggage. Gonna, if, I, if I could be the exception on the product. Oh, right. really? Are you going to poo-poo on it? <laughs> <laughs> I find a couple of things wrong. One, it's very sleek, but it's extremely masculine. It product line expansion. Product we're we're thinking new colors. Out in a store. <laughs> You're doing others, but I'm judging by this prototype. Right? Yes. Okay. Secondly, I think it's too heavy. In addition to the fact that most people like soft luggage, not hard luggage. And lastly, you haven't had your consumer base tested out. They haven't received it yet. So you're asking us to invest a lot of money with absolutely no feedback from the guy who's going to use it. Well, we have had people test it. The Not product everybody. testers came back with really positive reviews. And for those reasons, no. There's so many unanswered questions, but magically, the two of you have convinced me that there's something there. I'll give you the 1.4 million for 30%. I mean, that's a legitimate offer. Mark can laugh all he wants. He's not making an offer. That's the offer I see because of all the unanswered questions. This isn't an investment. We're going on a trip together. And when we go on this trip together, we're <laughs> going to learn suitcase. a lot. So basically, <laughs> that Robert's my imputing a value so of $5 million on the deal. That's what he's saying. And I think it's fair. You know, I, in fact, I'll join him if he wants a partner. I like you guys. I, I'll do that deal. I'll go 50-50 if he wants to mitigate his risk a little bit. Kevin, I appreciate the offer. I don't want Kevin to go on this trip with me because there are countries Kevin's not allowed to go into. <laughs> well, I will make the same offer, except I want 37%. Okay. That doesn't seem like... So I'm, I'm being just as ludicrous as you are. Your valuation's insane. Can we hear other offers? there was anything else? I'm sitting here thinking about losing the money right on the one hand i do think that there's a lot of things that can be done with it right i have licensing connections i know this world very well but on the flip side say i give you the money and something goes wrong with it right don't anticipate it but it could happen so i would give you the 1.4 million to fund purchase orders that's how what much you equity said you do you needed. want at 15 percent We would love to hear if Mark maybe has something to say. The product's interesting. I see what you're trying to accomplish. Now I want you to put yourself in our shoes. How much should I get back and when? We expect to be making six million dollars in profit next okay, year. Okay, we can question. pay you back next it's, year. It's a simple question, but I don't want just one million Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Right? We're aiming to make a billion dollar company. You have us working to have a In your mind, there's these big numbers you can pay back. But when we do the math based off of the equity you're offering us, the numbers don't calculate to big numbers. If you make, you know, $20 million next year, what's 5% of $20 million? Just a million dollars, right? See, you didn't look at it from our perspective. Gentlemen, I always love Mark more than anyone on the panel because he's got the most bucks. But let me tell you, Lori's the best partner. Would it be an option to work together, or? I would negotiate. Would we take just one mo moment to yeah, speak? Yeah, please do. Not a bad yeah, idea. Do. Please do. Thank you. I'm comfortable to give 10%. You're comfortable to give 10%. With two sharks helping us? Okay. All right. What are you going to do? Mark and Lori. We would like to offer you 5% of Trunkster for $1.4 million. 
We will also pay you back the full 1.4 million within 24 months. And if we don't pay you back within that time frame, we will double your equity stake. It's 10%. And we will offer you one dollar in perpetuity, starting from when the when the money is paid back. All right, that's your offer, Mark, Lori. What do you got? I would take that deal. Yeah, we'll take that deal. Well, hang on. Love it. Are you guys splitting it, Mark? Yeah, we'll split it. Wow. <laughs> I did not see this coming. You came in knowing that, didn't you? Bum <laughs> diggy bum. Bum diggy. Yeah, yeah. Do not have a bum. Now can we hug properly? Thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Robert, we really appreciate your offer. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. If you get paid back your money over an indefinite period of time, well, that's not very enticing. To know that in two years you'll definitely have that money back or there's a penalty, then that makes us work harder and it makes them more secure.